Hey everybody, this is Robert Mathis from the Quest for Groove and in this video I'm going to create a song using only this device, the Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III. And it's a brand new device. I'm actually releasing this video on the day that Novation is announcing this thing. So obviously they send it to me a little bit ahead of time so I could mess around with it. And yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to getting started. So let's get started. The Quest for Groove so the first thing that struck me about this device is the sensitivity of these pads. These pads are actually great for finger drumming. They're very, very sensitive. They respond super well. And all I needed to do for this thing to work for me is rotate the device 90 degrees. And yeah, I played this awesome Jeff Porcaro halftime shuffle groove like this. What you just heard was the Fairfax 1 kit from Addictive Drums 2. And in case you're curious about my exact layout, I'm gonna put that down in the description below. Now, with the drums down, let's create some harmonies. I decided to give myself a little extra challenge. I looked on the box to see what type of free software came with this thing. And apparently they give you addictive keys for free. I don't think the entirety of the, the bundle, but just one piano. And I figured that would be fun because I just played the drums with addictive drums. So let's play some keys with addictive keys. I fired up this electric grand piano thing and I figured out that you can play the bass notes with your left hand on the pads and then play the chords with your right hand on the keys and then there's an octave difference so you have more range and my part sounded like this. And when I listened back to that part that I played, I immediately got this idea for a B section with different chords to play. And uh, the way I recorded the B section is actually a little secret of mine uh, because I'm a guitar player. I'm not that good with keys and I had these chords in my head, tried to play them, kept messing it up and you know, time was of the essence because I had to make this video and release it on the release date. So uh, whenever that happens to me, I use this secret little trick where I just basically get one finger on one bass pad just my uh, other hand on one chord. I hum the little melody or the little chord change thing that I wanna hear. And I just play the feel and the rhythm of the chords with one chord and one pad. And then after I recorded that, I can just change the MIDI notes into the right chord. So yeah, that's obviously a little bit of a cheat, but you know, as a guitar player, you gotta make do with uh, with what you have. And uh, that's one of my tricks. I actually played some great jazz piano solos that way uh, throughout my career. So that's how I put down the B section. Then it's time for a melody. The melody, I also used two presets from Addictive Keys again, from the electric piano. And then in the B section, I also used another preset from the uh, Addictive Keys electric piano. And I messed around with the pitch band wheel a little bit. That, works surprisingly well, even though it's just a touch fader. And that is where I left it. So what I'm gonna show you now is the entire song that I made from the top. Enjoy. <laughs> 